Right, welcome to this review uh, for some uh, resin terrain from gamemat.eu. Uh, they've produced a gothic temple, uh, which will go well with some of their gothic terrain they already have, uh, and then also some gothic walls as well. I'm going to review both of these in the same video here. Uh, we'll unbox them, this is how they arrive. Uh, I'll take a look at them and then uh, zoom in and get some detailed shots of them as well. So uh, we'll review the gothic temple here. It's quite big inside this box. So uh, package in the box and then polystyrene uh, protection for them as well. So there it is outside the box. Uh, it's quite well protected here. Take the lid off. And lift this out. Yeah. So here it is, some polystyrene bits and I have to blow that off, but it comes pre-painted this set. I'm going to take it out of its plastic now and then give you a view. It does actually look really impressive. Alright, so there it is. Uh, I have to say the design is really nice. Now, it would go very well with uh, Lord of the Rings if you're playing that gaming system. Age of Sigmar it would look good. And then for 40k, if you're doing sort of a uh, Imperial City, then that, this would suit very well uh, with that as well. So, steps running up here, here and here, there's like an altar, or a well type thing in the middle. Uh, entrance just to here, and then there is steps around uh, the back as well. It does look pretty impressive, and uh, it does come this way, it comes pre-painted for you, uh, just with a basic design, or basic uh, paint job over the top. Uh, the details are really good, and the, the uh, stone effect is all sculpted as well, so it's nice for dry brushing. So uh, it's ready to use out of the box straight away, so you can take it out, add it to your terrain, no problem, and play with it straight away. Uh, or if you want to uh, improve it, then uh, you can just paint over the top. So I'll give it a spray of uh, matte varnish, and then maybe uh, pre-dry brush it. With like a medium grey, a light grey. It wouldn't really respray it a dark colour. They've already done the dark colour for you, but I bring it up maybe a bit lighter with the medium grey, uh, and then light grey, and then start to flood inks into all of the cracks here, which is all nicely sculpted for you. So you can easily do that and do some nice weathering effect. And then you can add in a little bit of flock here and there, just little patches, and then this terrain would actually look really, really nice. So for a foundation of terrain, uh, these. Uh, sets by gamemap.eu are really handy um, because you can just use them straight as they come, paint it up if you want to, or you can uh, add to them, repaint them, and make them look very, very nice indeed. And again, you can add your own accessories to these as well. If you're Age of Sigma, you want to stick some weapons on, some skulls, a couple of bodies here and there just to make it suited to Games Workshop, then uh, you can do that, and that would even add more interest to it as well. But uh, looking pretty good here from them. So that's the details on the pavement like I was talking about earlier on. You could easily dry brush that nicely and then flood in some uh, sort of griffon or the uh, seraphim sepia would be a nice colour, sort of a rusty colour in between there would look nice. And then some flock and some lichen. You can even add uh, just sort of in the corners like just here for example and then uh, just here as well I would use some PVA glue and then stick in some sand and some stones as well just to add more texture. To it, just little patches here and there. There's the steps coming across, there's that entrance just there, and around the other side, the entrance just there as well. So that's the, uh, the size of it, you sort of get an idea of how big it is. They do do uh, a gothic walls set as well to go with this and to go with the other, the other uh, gothic terrain that they've produced as well. So it's really just some accessories to add on uh, to that current set. So I'll leave that just there just for scale so you can see, and then we'll take a look at these gothic walls next. So, they come in a smaller box here, each individually uh, bubble wrapped, and again, nicely protected. And besides, they're not exactly too fragile, they're quite solid. Uh, they're solid resin all the way through, and this here isn't hollow, it's uh, completely solid underneath as well. So Whatever material they're using, sounds a little bit hollow there, but uh, it is solid. It is solid enough. It's a nice solid feel to it. So that's that. And again, they, uh, they've done as they sit nice and flat. There's nothing worse with terrain that's wobbly or wonky, but they always come nice and dead flat here as well, which is helpful. 
So that's the walls. I'm going to zoom in here uh, on both of these to get a closer view. And then again with this one, medium grey dry brush, a light grey or whitish grey dry brush, and then again you can start flooding the gaps there with the washes. You can uh, start to add sand and flock along the base here, or you can even uh, add these onto other terrain and just sculpt them in and add the basing on top of that kind of thing. So they're in smaller sections, so it's quite uh, versatile what you can do with it. So I'll leave that just there. There's one. I'm going to get the rest of these out here. I imagine there's about 10 of them. All right, so uh, you do get 10. Uh, what's really cool about this set here is there's two of that type, then there's two of a different type, two of another type, and then two of uh, another type, so a lower one, which is handy, and then these ones are really cool. Uh, there's two with uh, windows as well, so nice variety. I was worried that they might have been all the same, or maybe just two of each type, but they've given you five different types here in this set. and. I reckon they've done them in a way so that no matter what ends you line up, they will match up against each other. It looks like they do. Even the lower one, yes, it does look. It runs all the way along. And then the one with the windows, just there. And then uh, I'm just going to move it so you can see, like this. And then look, if you flip it around, it matches perfectly as well. So that's nicely done. No matter what configuration you go for, uh, they do match up with each other, which is really good. So I'm just trying out different combinations here. Yep, and they seem to fit nicely. So you can see, look, a couple of sets of these, one set, a couple of sets of these, and you've got yourself some nice walls uh, just there. And again, I would go for uh, spraying them with varnish, uh, and then if you, if you want to go down that route, as I said, they're, they're ready to play straight away. Uh, but they can be, they're terrain that can easily be improved. Again, nice and rock solid as well. So they're a set that you're going to keep for a lifetime, really. And I'm sure make plenty of use out of them. So just zooming in here so you can see. That's that one. This one's with a thicker part to the wall. That's the lower one. Like that. And then you've got this type here and this type here. There's five different varieties there. So nice work on the uh, stonework here, it does look pretty good. So there it is, so that's uh, uh, Gothic Ruin, Gothic Walls here, or Gothic Temple that one's called, Gothic uh, Walls. They're from GameMat.eu, they do ship all over the world. They uh, produce nice gaming mats, uh, perfect for games of Warhammer 40,000 Age of Sigma, and then uh, nice terrain sets they've started producing as well. These uh, suited for Age of Sigma for sure, Lord of the Rings definitely, uh, but even 40k as well, uh, sort of the Gothic Imperial sort of city, these would match up nicely as well. But there it is, that's uh, the review for the Gothic Walls and Gothic Temple uh, produced by GameMet.eu. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.